needs to up their game this week, Mr. Lombardi. Yes, Kay. I, you know, I'm fascinated with what we're going to get from the Baltimore Ravens. Yesterday we did our playoff picks, and I didn't pick the Ravens to make the playoffs. And everyone said, they won the division last year. You were so high on that team last year. I have such a bad taste in my mouth for how the Ravens season ended last year that I just want to see what we get. Because let's go back to week 16. The okay. Chargers hosted the Ravens on a Saturday night game on NFL Network, and Lamar Jackson looked amazing. This is him hitting Mark Andrews Woo! on a beautiful 60-yard touchdown pass. The Lamar Jackson experience was in full bloom. Week 17 happens, they beat the Browns. And then one week later, they post the L.A. Chargers in a playoff game. The Chargers had two weeks to prepare after seeing Lamar Jackson once, and it was one of the worst performances I've ever seen from a quarterback in the first half. And I don't blame just Lamar. I blame the game plan. I blame the approach. And I give a lot of credit to any coaching staff that had the time and the film to watch the Lamar Jackson offense and say, wait a second, okay, let's put six men up the box. Let's add in another safety. Let's make them beat him with our arm. So Lamar Jackson plays the Miami Dolphins. Everyone says it's the Ravens in a blowout. Everyone just picked the Ravens. Let's see what we're getting from okay. Lamar Jackson because Brian Flores and that Ravens defensive staff has had an entire offseason to watch all the Lamar Jackson stuff. And I've been through the Robert Griffin era. I've been through the Tim Tebow era. Yeah. And I have been through a lot of running quarterback Pat era. White. I've seen Pat White. <laughs> Let's wait and see because if I'm going to be curious about any team, it's going to be this Lamar Jackson run Baltimore Ravens offense. And I'm not buying just yet. And is there all a right. guy like Derwin James on this Miami defense? Because that's really what stopped these Ravens in the playoffs last year. So Lamar Jackson, I said it in fantasy-wise, I think he might have 100 rushing yards in this first game of the season. Yeah, you're right about that. All right, so fuel my hustle, fuel this player's hustle. Yeah. The whole team is going to need to hustle. I'm going with the Arizona Cardinals' Kyler Murray, the rookie quarterback. And listen, for them to get Kyler Murray, it was more hassle than it was hustle. They had to get rid of Josh Rosen. They had to get themselves a new coach. They had to really turn this organization upside down. And now all of a sudden, this rookie is going out there with a rookie head coach. You know what? Rookie quarterbacks have lost 11 straight games. And in the preseason, it was vanilla. They didn't show much. Everybody was hustling to put in their takes that this offense is going to be terrible. Yep. This isn't going to work. After Kyler Murray walked away from baseball, chose football, I wanted to do something special for yeah. him. I wanted to remix Take Me Out to the game. Oh, here we go. All right, so let's go ahead and do this. This is for you. Come on, baby. All right, this is free domain, so we're not going to get sued. All right. All right, so it's Take me out to the football game. Yep. Okay. You know this crowd will be loud. Yep. I need receivers and running backs. Then hopefully I will never get sacked. So <laughs> it's run and shoot for the offense. If they don't win, it's a shame. Because he was drafted number one. And for two, if this is a route, then this will be a shame. Yay! Play ball. And listen, Kyler Murray, it's time, baby. There's no more hype, no more preseason. It's on you. Hey, Cliff Kingsbury, let's see what you got. Hey. That's, uh, hey. Yeah, that's a good song hey. there. Thank you. I hey. appreciate it. And hey. what, do, what do Cubs fans say at the end? Let's get some runs. Let's get some Perfect. runs. <laughs> uh, and I'm going to bring it back to Chicago. I'm feeling very retro today, my friends. And... Bears fans will remember a linebacker wearing number 58 named Wilbur Marshall, a terrifying player. They got another guy right now wearing number 58, the eighth overall pick in the 2018 NFL Draft. Roquan Smith Woo! needs to have a game tonight. Guys, last year missed all of training camp. This is his first ever NFL play. Not his first game. That is Roquan's first snap week one last year. Mack almost got the sack. Roquan came in to finish it. He was shot out of the cannon. Now, a year later, whole training camp, whole identity. He is ready. And he goes, you know, all this domination that's gone with the Aaron Rodgers era over the Bears, there's one thing that did stick out. Brian Urlacher used to get Rodgers sometimes. What I mean by that, he would pick him, he would jump a route, he would play a chess match and win. It happened not once, not twice. It happened here and there all the time. We need to see this from Roquan tonight because the pass rush is going to be there. I want to see the young linebacker or number 58 have a duel with Aaron Rodgers. I think he's athletic enough. The question is, can he pull the Urlacher? Because the identity of this defense, Mac is the Jordan. We need Roquan to be the Scotty Pippen. Hey. And I think he is ready. He's got a big task tonight versus number 12 right down the street. Quickly, you called the fourth preseason yeah. game. You were here with the team. You actually spoke to a lot of the Bears players. Are they feeling the pressure tonight? This is this is epic. This yes. is their biggest game in most of their careers. Okay, nothing's feeling more pressure than your mustache right now. <laughs> it is hanging on for dear life. 
but there's the K. You're owning it. You're rocking it. I would say the pressure is certainly for the defensive side. The ro Those guys are so eager to hit somebody because all players yeah. are. Khalil Mack has not played a snap. Eddie Jackson has not played a snap. They've compared themselves to being in a cage. They want to get the hell out and hit somebody wearing green and white.